Hi. With the recent release of Resolve version 19 beta 6, they've added a bunch of new transitions they call stingers. And they've added 21 of them, and I thought we'd have a uh, look at each of these. You can find them up in the effects panel, and they'll be under generators, and down here you'll find stinger transitions. Close that window for now, and I've got them all lined up down here on a timeline. And I have my inspector window open over here so that we can have a look at our settings. So the first one here is a logo, and it will animate the logo across your scene. And it looks like this. That's a little demo logo they've included. And if we look over here, we can see we can browse and specify the file that we want to have for a logo. So it's not getting it out of the media pool. It's actually selecting a file off your local storage. I would recommend you use a PNG file with an alpha channel, so 24-bit PNG. And... Uh, all of these uh, transitions will honor the alpha channel of a PNG file. And uh, most of them uh, offer the ability to use a uh, custom logo like you just saw. The next one up here is some 3D text. I'm going to click on that. Some nice looking 3D text with uh, some light rays on it. And you can see over here, we have a bunch of controls for color, etc. that you can play around with. The next one is also 3D tech, and it works slightly differently. It zooms in on it, and we get the uh, same kind of transition. Now, this one here is called Band White. Uh, you can also, instead of doing the band wipe, you can use a custom logo, just like that first transition did, and uh, browse for it locally. And again, you're going to be better off using a 24-bit PNG with an alpha channel so that it will overlay properly. So let's have a look at how that looks. Very nice. Next one up is called Blobs. And it works the same way. You can substitute a custom logo. Now, this particular one is a news broadcast news transition. And if I click on it here, we can see up here it says broadcast news. So if I play that and I've kind of set up a little scene here to make the broadcast news transition work works just like that. Now, again, I put in a custom logo for that. I didn't have to. I could just do this and put text in like that. But I chose to put in a little custom logo for this news channel. Now it's got their logo in there. Next up is circles. Again, in our inspector, we have the logo instead of the text or you can use the text you have all these options here for the text which are fairly typical so we'll see what that looks like and then the next one circle scaling the next one electro horizontal electro vertical Fold wipe. It's a generic banded one. A generic label with the bands again. Generic label wipe. Another generic simple background. Radial shape. round and as i've said before most of these you can substitute your own custom logo which is a real nice effect 
I really like this round line ones here. This is a really nice effect. So these can add a little more professional flavor to your videos. Anyway, there you have it. Give you an idea of what's coming up here in Resolve. If you like the video, please click like. That helps other folks find it on YouTube. And until the next video, take care.